Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Justy. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. From games I've never played or heard about, this is Library of Ruina. And the song is called Binna Battle on the Floor of Philosophy. This is requested by a patron known as Kevin and Kive as well. Shout out to both of them. I have checked out Library of Ruina a little bit and it's uh, pretty interesting stuff so far. It's all over the place. And this is a boss battle, I'm assuming, by the phases in it. So let's just get into it. Library of Runa, Bina battle. That's a good way to start a boss battle. I still haven't seen gameplay of this, by the way. I just know each floor has their own theme. Interesting image. City on the bottom and then like a bridge and then galaxy on top. Phase two commence. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Still feels like a buildup. But it's definitely getting more intense now. Very light choir, but those drums are hard. Ooh, pedal tone. I'm pretty sure that you don't hear that sound in game. It's probably just for the video. Oh, this is the last one. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting into war drums now. It's the last music you expect for the game called Library of Ruina. 
the library is supposed to be quiet. section. This is intimidating. Has the string section stopped once? Very nice quintessential boss trap. When I think this music, I think boss. I also see a bunch of stuff just like falling down. Or just a lot of particles on screen or something. <laughs> oh, nice octave jump. I like the choir, how it's so subtle, and it's only in certain parts, it's not in the whole song. Oh jeez, okay yeah. So I was told that these loop a lot, so I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, um, well. This to me, as I was saying, is just kind of like the quintessential boss sound. But I'm just constantly kind of amazed by Library of Veruna just because... Okay, this is what went, go this went through my mind the entire time. Yes, I'm picking out like little musical things here and there, but there was nothing really... Um, for lack of a better word, like extraordinary going on. It was... You know, pianos playing along with violins, string section, and some choir. Uh, but the what it, the feeling it gave me, probably more so than any game that I've had so far, is I really just want to see that with gameplay. Like I kept imagining it in game. Sometimes I try to think of like a scenery or what it gives off or something. In this case, I have no idea what the floors mean or or all that. Oh, I don't know if this image is related. But I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, this must sound so cool in game with the sound effects, with whether you're attacking spells, whatever it may be. Like, I can just, that's what I was imagining the whole time. So I'm hearing dun 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 dun, dun with like, you know, things firing off and just stuff crashing. That's that's the, um, the feeling I kept getting, kind of like, damn, I really want to see this. So probably after this, uh, video i'm gonna ask the the requesters to like hey just let me sh like let me find out where this uh where this plays because of course context is important but i think when it comes to like boss music like this um to me it's more about the whole experience the whole package and not just the music uh as great as the music is on its own let's say if i were to hypothetically do a rating i don't do ratings but let's say the song was like a an eight right it's pretty damn it's pretty damn good uh, what would make it, you know, something higher, like a 9 or a 10, would be the whole package. So it, it does, and vice versa, you know, the game is probably nowhere near as good without the music, and the music is nowhere near as good as the, the, the game itself. So I feel like in these two, in this case, Library of, Ru of Ruin kind of complements each other very, very well. A lot of games are like that, but I feel, I don't know, just a gut instinct. I feel like that's like really the case here. Because um, uh, as, as great as the song was, nothing is it's going to be very like too memorable. But I can see how that would be memorable as it's happening, if that makes any sense. That's typically the case when it comes to like Monster Hunter songs um, that happened in Mass Effect as well. Just a, a couple little things like that. Uh, it's more of the ambience and the feeling you get there, but it's really not knocking the music at all. It's just more of like... 
I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it besides that. It's just you have to be there kind of thing. Otherwise, um, you know, this is the best I can I can get. Because as far as a, a setting, uh, boss music is very hard to pinpoint into a setting, right? It's very different from, like you say, a, a world a theme or a shop or save point. Battles are always like this, right? They're kind of like that intense war drum sound or, or something like that. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint. It could be kind of anywhere. It's more about the character itself. So if anything, this song, which I'm totally guessing, maybe like 90% feel comfortable saying it, is that this song is definitely like reflecting the character, which I guess is Binna. Or maybe the floor of, uh, what is it? The philosophy? Clearly, right? Of course. But as an outsider looking in, I'm just like, what's going on? Of course, that's nothing new on this channel, but I guess what I'm saying is Library of Runa has me probably more curious than uh, most titles that I get. I get this one, I'll get stuff like Ace Attorney, um, just a bunch of kind of sporadic ones where I'm just like, what is going on? You know, so much curiosity. And if you're wondering why I'm saying all these things is because, you know, I don't really have the the freedom to d dive too much into these requests because, you know, to not spoil myself. But also, I don't know, I guess I just like, I, I, I guess I just kind of like not knowing because it gives me places to go and things to talk about. And then it turns into like a speaking thing in the comments. And I don't know, I guess I kind of like that. So. But I do want to see footage of this. Uh, as far as the song, really, uh, just really quick, I'll just go right through the three phases. Um, first phase, uh, obviously, just like a introduction, right? It's just in introduce the violins and kind of the the mood that we're gonna go into, and pretty much did its job there. Second one, that's when it it actually made a significant jump, and we start introducing the percussion, and then it starts getting kind of a little faster, more violins, more stringed instruments, a little bit of choir. And the third one, we're just full on in like battle mode, right? The drums have picked up quite a bit. The pacing is a lot faster and uh, the, the string session is just kind of nonstop. But I also, as I was saying right before the video ended, I, I really liked the choir in this one because it wasn't drenched everywhere. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just, you know, it wasn't a focus. It was just kind of in tiny little segments and it was turned down. So it's a very mood thing and instead of a, uh, I don't know, you know, I feel um, in, in the in the non, in the most non-mean way possible that I could say it, it's like, I feel like choir would almost be like, adding choir would almost be like cheating and you can make almost any song sound cool if you really think about it. But uh, I feel like it wasn't just placed in here just to add effect, it was properly used here, I guess. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't just oh, there's choir and now it's automatically epic. You know, there's there's a reason why it's there. So if none of this makes any sense, it's because it, it doesn't. This is just how my brain works. But this is what VGM does to my brain. So anyways, more Library of Runa still to come. Thank you, uh, Kevin and Kive for that. If you want to do the same thing, you can do a request on Patreon or PayPal, either are totally fine if you do not mind waiting. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum tier, which expedites your request to the top, thus eliminating said wait. Big shout out to my supporters, Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Mushimeri, the BRM, and your average metalhead for being part of that. Thank you all so much. Thank you to you for watching, the library fans, the channel fans. I appreciate it. Until next time, everyone, have a good one.